furious at the call then. Uh, when we got off, we went from there, it was raining like stink. And we loaded on, some of us were put, we went, we went driven, Captain Driven, mm. Brian, Hutchinson. and uh, um, yeah. Brian, there was Harry, the, the carpenter, there was uh, Sergeant Brown, who was a cook, and myself, and Driven, and to do that. But we were dropped out of, the, we went up on barges. We, in the barge that we were on, we were dropped off at very late in the afternoon, somewhere about, I'd say, eight miles, eight kilometres south of Takanan. And we had to make our way, walk, not march, through this mud and slush about eight miles up to Tarkanan and boy it was a hell of a job because it was up, down, up, down, mud up to your knees. So you tread in mud and you'd feel a root underneath a tree root or something under your foot and you'd make that purchase and maybe you'd get your foot stuck and I lost my, my footwear in, in no time flat put it on, you'd get it down the bottom, there's no way you'd get it out. Just leave it there. Uh, we had a pull up and it was raining like you. The monsoons were on. Absolute murder. But we all made it, the five of us. How many kilometres up the track well, was I'd that? I'd say about eight miles. Yes, but you know, you know how they describe the camps as 218 kilometre camp. Well, I understand or, that the camp we went to yeah. was 224. Right. Mihaku and yeah. Miju. We could get an approximate idea of that from the map. Yeah. And that's in the vicinity of Takanoon, or maybe yeah. part of Takanoon. Yeah, it was like one of the Cooley camps. Yeah, so how long did you. Now, you, know, you, you just said that you went up there with Dreverman, Captain Dreverman. Yeah. Uh, Brian Hutchinson. Brian Hutchison. 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 Harry Craig, Harry Craig and Brown, Cook, the cook, cook, the cook, Sergeant Cook, Sergeant Cook who was he a cook Sergeant or Sergeant Brown? He was a Sergeant. Sergeant Brown. Brown was the cook. Cook. Okay. Now, was that the normal breakup of a team of four or five well, looking out for some coolies? I understand that it was supposed to be all teams of five. Mm. Now, whether the full complement, but I know that there were less than in some camps than mm. what mm. we were told mm. was going to be the norm. Well yours became less anyway very quickly didn't it? Yes, very quickly. What happened there? Uh, we, we arrived at the camp, uh, at the coolie camp, of which there were 6,000 coolies. We arrived, Drev had pneumonia, and uh, we, Brian and I, we talked it over and we decided, oh, we decided we'd use our M and B 693. And we had a few that our CO had made sure we had, and uh, a few other bits and pieces a bit out of bring. And uh, we decided we'd give Drev this because he was a bit in bad way and uh, even just if I stuck my ear on his on his back I could hear the rails mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, they were bad. And we had to move out into another little hut because the water was rising with the rain. And uh, we got driven over that, Brian and I, we nursed him on one afternoon on the next night and uh, the next morning he was on the improved. He'd, he'd, he'd come to the hood, he, he was now lucid. And uh, about, well it only had been a couple of hours, about probably nine o'clock, 
uh, from Curve Road, and woke up. This doctor, um, Japanese doctor, arrived on the scene, put his stethoscope on him and said, oh, he's got tuberculosis, tuberculosis, or something like that. And uh, I said, no, he's it's, it's got uh, pneumonia. Created a lot of <laughs> harmony. <laughs> so he decided that Dred was going to go down to camp near uh, somewhere down south, near. Uh, somewhere around there, there's a big, this big hospital. Mm. So within t within a couple of hours, mm. on a on a little trolley, and uh, he was gone down the line. And uh, versus a motorised trolley or a yeah, push trolley? Yeah, no, a motorised trolley. Yeah. just a little one. Yeah, he he probably went down to Kinsale. Well, we never found out. No, no, you wouldn't know. Never found out. No. So Which left four yeah. of us. Yes. Two medical orderlies mm -hmm. and uh, a cook and a and a harbour. Mm. Now, Brian Hutch was less forceful than I. Didn't come on? Lost the count. However, uh, now we, I, I believe we, we were at the point where uh, uh, Captain Dreverman had been evacuated south and you were left with four of you four, on your own. Four of us on our own, mm -hmm. with Brian Hutchison and myself being the only two qualified or, or whatever to do some of the work, so we just had to do it. Mm -hmm. Now that place didn't have, with the exception of one, which the Jacks had, didn't have a latrine. So they would not put Coolie labour to work, native labour to work. Uh, they used the jungle as their place to go. So we had to, after a long discussion, 10 minutes, with the Japs, see that we had to do the digging of latrines, we had to do the digging of graves. Digging of graves was part of the yeah. medical team. Yeah. That was their work. Now, did you ever experience cholera? Oh, my very, very word, we had cholera. That cholera must have been about a fortnight after we got to that camp, 224 kilo, Tarkanoon. And it. Uh, oh, it appeared that the, I thought that Brian Hutch might have had it at one stage when he was very crook with, with dysentery or one or the other. And it just appeared. For the first day or so there was one or two, then there was two or four, and then there was four or six. And the worst number we had, which uh, must have been about four or five months after we went there with the monsoonal rains pouring down, the ground everywhere, there was there were um, feces right through the jungle, um, wherever there had been a um, footpath or anywhere where they could sneak in. The natives had used the jungle as their toilet. We had 